I've always liked the term cat's pajamas when you think something's neat, but I think we need to update it. Since we're in Canada, and since we like alliteration, I'm going with the beaver's bloomers, as in, hey, that bait is the beaver's bloomers. <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, the silliest musky fishing on the YouTubes. I'm in Canada with my good friends, Ben Stone, Ben Stone Fishing, right in the back here. His YouTube channel is pretty fantastic. And uh, up in the front we've got Trevor Allen, Chaos Tackle, Trophy Time, Lures and Leaders. We are up at Cold Grove's Eagle Lake Lodge and we we're attempting to catch muskies. Yesterday did not go so well. The first day we saw all sorts of them caught two. Ben is being really serious right now and figure eighting. Did you see one? Did you see this thing? No. Oh! And Trevor just caught a fish. Okay. Well things are happening so look at that. He has to go catch one while I'm doing an intro. Those are what we come to Eagle Lake for. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see a little pike. Alright. I want to get to fishing uh, and see if we can get uh, a muskie and not a pike. Oh, oh! Like, is it? Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Well, this morning it started off as another grinder of a day. We've seen one for sure muskie. I had something take a swipe. We might have seen you know, one or two other fish, but it's been tough. I finally put a fish in the net. I got a big pike. That was a sick eat on the Rusty's Custom, sick sucker. Right at the boat, smacked it hard. Wish it was musky, but I'll take it after a couple long days of grinding. <clears throat> Holy, that is a fat fat pike. All the fish we've caught so far on this trip have been super built. I don't think she's going to be 40. Not even close. 36 and a quarter. With how this fish is built though, you would expect it to be a 40 inch pike. Look at the gut on that thing. Absolutely wild. As the Europeans would say, nice pikes. Let's get it back. That's a big fish. Dude, he was right on it. All right, folks, well, since I didn't talk about what we were using earlier, I'm going to do it now. I am throwing this cool looking little five inch six sucker from Rusty's Custom Lures. This is what I raised that fish on earlier. Uh, pairs nicely with a Assault Stick 2020 Surgical Strike, Tranks 400 with fins, big game, 80 pound excess, and uh, got a nice light trophy time leaders and lures, straight wire lure for this little glide bait and we are going to be fishing some shallow stuff like three four five feet and seeing if the fish are up 
shallow. We haven't really tried that yet. We're gonna give it a go since we saw the that pike and that bigger muskie up shallow earlier. So that is the program for right now. There must be a lot of dead reeds in there. Yeah, yeah. Make it. Coming around again. Dude, that was so sick. I do that. That's that's out there, dude. Oh my god. This might be it. You ready? I think she's she's got it pinned good, so I think we're okay. Dude, that's gonna be that's gonna be that's gotta be close. It's gotta be close. Oh my god. It's gotta be close. This is the sickest fish I have ever caught in my life. Alright, let's get to take care of. Oh my god. Dude, did you see that thing behind it? I was, I was like, Ugh. We have been working so hard. We have probably the what you would consider the worst conditions of the trip so far. Not a ripple on the water, very little clouds in the sky. And we fished super shallow, moved a few fish that were lazy. And we have, it's the one thing we haven't done a lot of. We pushed up shallow, we're all kind of throwing glides, small baits. And this thing, was behind my Rusty's Custom Glide that I just got last week and absolutely destroyed it. I watched the whole thing. We are up in two, three feet of water and this is a big fish. This is knocking on the red mark, so let's waste no time. Let's figure out how big this thing is. What an incredible fish. This is one of, this is uh, one of the coolest fish I've caught in my life. Oh my God, look at that Eagle Lake muskie. Just a freaking, brute to the fish. Forty-eight and a half almost. Yep. Oh, oh, 48 three quarters, quarters almost, yep. <clears throat> Not quite 50. But just a freaking beast of a fish. Oh, let's get this big Eagle Lake girl back. <clears throat> Look at how stout that fish is. She might not be there in length, but holy cow, that fish is built like a freaking beast. She's already tensing up on me. I haven't shaken like this for a fish in a long time. That is so sick. Awesome, dude. Good work. Nice. That's, that's how you catch the 50 inch pike on Gibbs Lake. So. <laughs> well, clearly. Here we go, here we go. Back up on Yep. Chase did it. She's still down there? Trying to get her to come back. I don't know if she will or not. She swam past and went into the boat. Oh, there she is. She went down right here. Let yeah. me see if I can get her back up. <laughs> There's a couple few muskies in here. Yep, on it. She snip it? Yep, she's still there. She's gonna eat. If I if I get it down to her, she's gonna eat. 
because she she nipped it just now. Unless I st stung her, maybe I don't know. I didn't think I did. <sighs> Dude, she like her mouth opened up and like yeah. the bait was right there so that's why I set the hook I thought she had it yeah well folks after a day and a half of not much happening a lot has happened in the past hour uh, Ben's fish was just amazing it was so cool to watch it eat that Rusty's custom I just had a fish up on uh, a five inch six sucker uh, so they're they're going for glide baits and we're, we're seeing fish on glide baits um, so yeah we've got a little over three hours left. We know where some fish are, so uh, even if we can't get them to go right now, we're coming off of a minor. We've got the last hour low light period that we can hopefully come back on some of these fish and get some to go. We've been talking to some friends of ours and they're seeing some fish in shallower weeds. So making the move from fishing the outside deep weeds to really far inside and even up into some of the reeds, like two, three feet, uh, seems to be paying off for us a little bit anyway. So I'm gonna get back to casting. Yeah, you'll be fine. But yeah, because uh, that was the other spot I was thinking where those reeds come out back in reserve there. Yep, that's why I headed over here quick when you said that. Yep. I freaking gunned it. I mean, there's fish on the inside. Of the here we go, here we go. Got one, got one. Oh, it's a pike. It's a pike. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll let you know if we do anything. All right, sounds good. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It's a nice pikes. Oh my goodness. Tell your friends to hit like that. Or don't you get along? I don't know. Come here, you. Yeah, I know. I know. Get out of Trevor's way. <laughs> All right. You're gonna need pliers. Right there, right there. All right. That was a nice pike, isn't it? Yep. Now nah, he's a little bit too big. We'll send you back on your way, pal. Thanks for the thrill. All right, everybody. We have reached the point of the day I call the power hour. Uh, we have one hour left. That's why I call it that. And because uh, this is one of our best chances to catch a fish, we've got really calm conditions. We know we've got a bunch of fish sitting in one spot. I think we're gonna head there pretty quickly. We are fishing some weeds right now that uh, look very promising, but we've only seen one fish so far. So I think we are going to go to the spot where close to Ben were, uh, close to where Ben got his, can't talk, and uh, see if we can't squeak one more out for tonight. Get him. Okay. I couldn't see it for a second. It scared me. That's my PB. <sighs> yeah, it is, buddy. <laughs> That's a freaking dandy. I watched him come up behind that. it. He circled up from the side. That, thing. that is a dandy, dude. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that was scary nutting that thing. <laughs> See if you can get her tail kind of. All 
All right, buddy. All right, let's take her on the boat. Dude, she touches. It's 50. <laughs> Dude, let's, it's 50. Let's go. Oh, let's get her back in. Look at that. <laughs> Crush my PB. First That's 50 awesome. on the top water. We are going to keep an eye on her, but she's keeping herself upright. And there she goes. She's giving a little kick. Wow. <laughs> that is so, dude. Sudden turn of events. <laughs> that is so cool. We just went from having a crummy day yesterday and today was pretty rough to a 50 incher. <laughs> crushing a PB by what, five and a half inches? Yeah. I mean, almost half foot. Unreal. Unreal. So. That's why we come to Eagle. <sighs> Absolutely. Couldn't have ended today on a better note. Uh, ben got a gorgeous fish up shallow. Trevor got his personal best, a 50 incher. And I was just hanging out driving the boat today. <laughs> but I had an absolute blast netting the fish for these guys. And the best part is we've got it all on film, uh, not only for us, but to share with all of you. So that, that part of us is really special. And that's what makes filming completely worth it for me. I have people ask me all the time, isn't it a pain in the butt? Once you've got a system down like we do, it's not too bad. Does it get in the way every now and again? Sure, but I love it so much and you have to if you're gonna do this that it makes every second of this worth it. Uh, the shadowy figure in the back there, that's Trevor. Uh, so we're gonna be at this again tomorrow. And the other shadowy figure back there, Ben Stone. Ben Stone Fishing is his YouTube channel. You should check it out. But uh, we're gonna go in, have some amazing Italian beefs, uh, maybe some Canadian cocktails, beers I guess it would be and uh, I was gonna say reboot and do this all over again but the weather looks like crap tomorrow so I don't think we'll be doing that uh, but we shall see you never know uh, I've seen them screw up a weather report more than once up here so we're gonna go back rest up and hopefully do this all again tomorrow and if not the next day but I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess and I'll see you on the next video